Okay, here I am, and I'm testing out the Canon XA11 XLR input, and I have the Comica wireless mic system, and I'm in the worst place that you can test, or probably the best place you can test an audio a busy street right next to me I got some what, one two three four wind chimes right next to me the wind is right now it's a little bit calm but give it a minute it'll start really blowing here so this is my test I, I wanted to make sure it worked before we went out on our Memorial Day trip I'm looking forward to that Memorial Day trip I'm hoping the microphone is working well. I, I haven't heard it yet. I have everything on auto, except for I did put on a low cut filter on the camera and the low cut filter on the receiver that's mounted to the top of the camera. And I set the settings, but it didn't matter. I just set everything to auto. Actually, the camera's on auto, so the focus is on auto, the exposure's on auto, and I just thought I would test this out and see how it works, and I am going to upload, or you'll see this on YouTube because I'm going to upload it. So my review so far of the Comica, when I unboxed it, it was, I, I didn't do an unboxing and all that kind of stuff because you can watch a ton of videos on that, okay? And you could do sound recording, uh, you know, reviews and distance reviews and all that. I'm probably about as far away as from the camera as I'll be when I, at least, you know, uh, interview wise. That's about, that's about how far it's about, I don't know, 12 feet away. I could go much further, supposedly 100 feet with this. And uh, so one of, my, one of my plans is I have two of these transmitters that, and the receiver on top will grab the audio from these transmitters and then going in through the XLR professional input on the professional Canon XA11 and there goes the wind chimes in the wind and we'll have some traffic here in a minute. Anyways, the, the, I'm, I'm gonna, when I do use it in a dual mic setting, I'm gonna run a, a stereo on it. So one side will be one uh, transmitter and the other side will be the other transmitter giving me dual audio tracks. And I could run it mono or it'll be stereo still. You'll hear it in both ears, but, it, but it'll be one track where both people are talking on one track and recorded on one track. I don't really want to do that. I, or I don't really want to do that. I want to do separate tracks. So I have a little bit of control on, on what goes on. Like if, if there's chatter coming across that from one person, like they're talking to somebody and it doesn't pertain to the video, I will, you know, be able to, I'll have the ability to edit all that. And so I'm looking forward to trying that out and I'm not gonna try it out right now. And uh, second, I'd like to speak to the YouTube creators just for a second or a minute. There goes a car, we'll see how that goes. Okay, now, YouTube creators, they create videos. And while I was looking for gadgets, you know, to hook up like wireless mics and different things that, that I could use with the camcorder that, that makes videos, Okay, so the camcorder was pretty expensive. It was, you know, 1200 bucks, something like that. 
but when you buy a DSLR or a mirrorless camera, those are photograph cameras. Yes, they take video and they take pretty good video. One of the things though that DSLRs, the, that ha I guess you would call it, um, so first, the DSLR or those mirrorless cameras are pretty expensive, probably around how much the camcorder is. You know, thousand dollars, twelve hundred, four thousand. Okay, that's without all the lenses. By the time you buy all the lenses, like if you want to zoom in the field, that's going to cost you a you know ton of money. You could probably have eight thousand dollars just in camera and lenses alone. That's before you have all the little gadgets, you know, the road microphone and, or, or wireless microphones or whatever it is that you're going to buy. I would say that if you're going to shoot videos, use a video camera. I mean, I could take pictures, beautiful pictures, rivaling the best DSLR camera. And I could take video probably better than the DSLR camera. I don't need lenses to zoom in 400 times, okay? It has night shot, and I bought a little gadget to go on top so that it enlarges the area of the infrared so that I can see more with it. It, I, you know, I'm just saying that if you're a content creator and you're using a DSLR camera. One of the things, you know, I, I traveled around the world with cameras and I had a uh, $15,000, it was cheap, you know, that was cheap then. Two, three tube television quality electric news gathering camera. And I also had a 35 millimeter Minolta, which was very expensive, but it was film, 35 millimeter film camera. And I had to have lenses on it. Like if there was something going on far away, I had to quickly take off the lens I had on it, usually a medium lens. And then I had to quickly put on the zoom lens and so I could zoom in on whatever it was, you know, that I, that was happening far away. If something was happening closer and I happen to have the zoom lens on it because I used that last, then I had to quickly take off the zoom lens and put the wide angle lens or the, you know, shorter lens. And with the camcorder, I don't have to do any of that. I can just push on the rocker, the zoom control, and I can zoom in 400 times. The same as one of those big old long lenses like I used to have. I used to have one that had a handle on it, you know, and it was so long it had a handle on it. And I had a lot of money invested in that. But if you really want to shoot video, and one, one other thing about the DSLRs and stuff like that, a lot of times when you're shooting video with those, when you're shooting video with those, they overheat and they shut off. And a lot of them, like the Canons and stuff like that, they'll shut off after 15 minutes. So you're not going to take really long videos with those. I could set this camera up and have, you know, four or five hours on the battery, 12 hours of ability to record, and I can let it sit there for the full time until the battery dies, and it will not overheat. It will take great video the whole time. And if you have the right equipment, it could be taking great audio. I have no idea if, if the audio is working or not, though. But that's just a little tidbit for me uh, with I don't know, I started doing uh, camera, you know, working with cameras when I was, it was 1982. I bought the very first camcorder on the market. And it was, it was a consumer model. 
and it was it was uh, like fifteen hundred dollars for the camera, and it was seventeen hundred dollars for the recorder, which held the half inch VHS tape. And I've been at it ever since with cameras. And, and as you guys know, you know, in front of the camera, behind the camera, I'm all around the camera. And I have a little bit of knowledge about cameras, you know, maybe not as much as my buddy Dave West, who shoots everything. You know, he's like the, he's like my hero when it comes to videography or photography. The guy is brilliant. And, but he, you know, he shot Oprah and you name it. This guy has, you know, been hanging off the side of a helicopter. He has me beat, way beat on like traveling around the world. He's been up and down the Amazon River, naked and afraid. I mean, uh, ice road truckers, you name it, he taped it. And, but he's my hero. I mean, I don't have that much experience, but I got a bit of time on the camera and I know enough that if you're going to take photography serious you get a photographic camera okay if you take video serious and do videos you get a video camera and quit going with the crowd you know go be your own you and and get a video camera a camcorder you can buy really nice camcorders. The one I'm using right now is freaking awesome. I think it's on auto right now, auto everything, auto exposure, auto focus, uh, auto audio going in, and except for the low pass, low cut filter that I put on it and the low cut filter that I put on the receiver on top of the camera. Okay, so now, I want to test this audio without me talking. So we're just gonna, I'll just do a little bit of silence and we'll hear how it sounds. I could hear a bird. I don't know if you could hear a bird. I could hear the four chimes. I could hear the wind blowing in my ears. I don't know if you could hear the wind blowing in my mic. I know you could hear the cars. There's no, no way around that probably. <laughs> but hopefully none of this stuff, birds, the chimes, the cars, none of that is like making it where you can't hear me hopefully i'll find out in a minute when i put this on the computer and listen to it i'm i'm as uh, anxious as anyone to find out how well these work so far i'm very impressed with them the quality and all that with these comicas i would have rather bought the metal case but for 200 more dollars I don't think so, you know. I'm going to go with the plastic and the cheaper. They're still, they're still $239 retail. I happen to find them for $39 or $75. Thank you, Vicky. Thank you, Vicky. Thank you, Vicky. So much. Because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wear these guys out, man. I'm going to tell you right now. I will. And so that concludes my test. Uh, and my review of the Comica, you know, I'm not going to do an unboxing because you could see a million videos of that, of these mics, you know, I'm not going to do a distance thing where I set the camera up and walk way far away, you know, I'll do that this weekend, but it won't be a test, it'll be actual field use, and I'm going to bring my little camcorder, so I'll have the camera setting up on a wide shot of every where we're going to be investigating and then I'll have a couple of people mic'd up maybe me and Jeff and as I'm out there looking around I'll use the camcorder to zoom in on whatever it is we find and I'll just in edit 
I'll s switch over the shot from the wide angle shot to actually what we're looking at. And hopefully this all works out for my plan. Uh, I got one other thing, BZ, if you see this, I am so sorry, but the hat blew away, blew away. And it was my favorite hat. I almost cried because it meant a lot to me to get that hat from you. And then all of a sudden, you know, it, it just blew off. It blew off so hard and fast that I didn't, I couldn't even react, but I did re I did have the camera rolling and I got a great video of the hat rolling down the dam to the water, you know, and there was no recovering it. We thought about using a fishing pole, you know, and trying to hook the hat and pull it up but there was cameras all over the dam and there was no fishing from the dam. So we probably would have got busted for that. So we just let it go. Well, pray for me, pray for all of us out there on this trip. I'll be praying for you. I love all of you, you know that. Um, I tell you all the time, I mean it. And I mean it when I say I pray for you guys. I pray for you. So please pray for me this weekend. I hope you have a really great weekend. I hope all the logging that went down out up there didn't change the dynamic so much that the Bigfoot went away. I doubt that happened, but we'll see what happened, okay? So this is gonna go up before the weekend. And I want to tell everyone, have a great Memorial Weekend. And all of the people that are seeing this, that served our country in any way, I want to thank you. Those that lost family members that were serving the country, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.